How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Data FGC's Max Mode. You're just in time for the ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom top eight. I'm Will, tags the tank, call me whatever. I'm hanging out with my good friend today, Charlemagne. How's it going, man? What's going on, everyone? I'm super excited to be here. Uh, really glad to be commentating with you again. Um, it's been a great day out here so far. Heck yeah, I'm enjoying my time today. Heck yeah. Uh, and of course, Marvel. Who doesn't love Marvel? Evergreen game. Always good to see it come Absolutely. back. Absolutely. We got we got still a good scene going in Georgia. Obviously enough for data to to bring it back to our first big major thankfully. like this. Yeah, thankfully. I once they uh, when they announced the major, I was super excited. And the moment I saw Marvel, I was like, I just I had to sign up. I had to drive over. Yes, sir. There's no way I'm missing it. But we're off to some great matches today. You'll see a very familiar face here in Chris G. Uh, I mean, who doesn't know him? And then we have one of our locals here, Drew Torius. Yeah. But the Georgia natives and uh, actually. Probably surrounding state players uh, definitely will be familiar with Drew Torius as well. Used to be Breakman a while back. The ancient days, man. Yeah, it uh, looks like we're uh, having a little issue with the headphones. Say, so need to be able to hear so I can tell when Dante comes on screen. Uh, my, not my even left Dante. Right. Morgan missiles? You oh need yeah, to know. yeah, you're so right. You absolutely need to know. Dante is a bit, a bit, a bit less uh, consequential. But yeah, I mean, while we're getting set up. Uh, I talked with a lot of players today. We're going to see a lot of classic teams. We're going to see some newer stuff. Uh, I, I think there's like a Deadpool on a team. Uh, you mentioned yep. like a Taskmaster. Yep. So, cool uh, characters to see. Yeah, so we're definitely, uh, I, I know a couple of the players that have made it out uh, include Wedge, that, that Deadpool, Dante Strider player you mentioned. Uh, we have Sondalite, Taskmaster, Sentinel, uh, Virgil. I believe we also will have Musa, uh, who is a Ami player. Uh, Magneto Doom Ami, which isn't something you see very often, not unless you, of course, lived out here in Georgia for, uh, during the GB days. Uh, oh, and Dapvip. Oh, Team 300%. Team 300% himself. So we're definitely going to have a, a nice a nice mix of characters. Let's see how many of them actually make it through Morgan, though. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully uh, they're going to jump in here before long. Do a little button check, and then we'll get rocking and rolling. I don't know if they're still rolling. working out the, the headphones, or maybe they've been resolved. Looks like we're queuing up for buttons. Man, you would have hoped when they made the port, they would have done a character select button check. Yeah. But this is a pretty low effort port. Doesn't matter. We still get to play the game like at 60 FPS consistently and reasonable input delay. I still think this is a pretty faithful port of the game. Yeah. Frames notwithstanding. It's still, a, it's still a lovely port, bro. It still gives us what we want. On an accessible console, too. Exactly. Who who has a 360 stick or a PS3 stick anymore? Well, I mean, with, with the converters and, like, the accessibility they're in, pretty much everyone still has a 360 stick. That's true. Console itself? Mm. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait! I can't wait for Wedge up here. I, I can't wait to see if he actually attempts the overhead. Oh man, Deadpool is such a riot to watch, man. Especially a good Deadpool, man. I still feel really weird. Uh, I mean, I, when I was playing this game real heavy, I was zero may cry. I'm, I'm that guy. Uh, not having air options on a character like Deadpool, I always felt like I could never rock with it. But when I watch this character in motion as a as a real strong player, like I love watching it. Uh, absolutely. All right, looks like we are about to go in, and of course we're gonna have Drew Torius versus uh, NY Chris G. All right, Chris G making some space, and here we get ready for the. There we go, sister, sister, and so give him at so the same time. Move. So gonna put her in block stun, but yeah. now he's out. Drew's gonna have the the task of trying to navigate the screen and maybe clear as much space as he can to get in uh, to make Chris G uh, maybe nervous about the situation. But he's already lost uh, three quarters of his health. It's not looking good. Maybe seventh, eighth. Goodness gracious. All right. Clears the pathway in. Runs into a fireball. Hard that tag, is a dangerous hard tag and punished. Oh, my goodness. And it's Virgil, too. This is going to hurt the team overall. Yeah, that almost worked out for him. Uh, well, now it's really going to hurt the team. <laughs> almost doesn't count. But, oh, never mind. And gets, oh, doesn't go for the level three. Okay. We're just going to uh, two meter it here, maybe. Oh, just setting up again. Oh, no, this is a reset. Interesting. Is he going to hard tap back into zero? He 
Oh, oh gets counter hit. I think he was going to try to go uh, DHC. Swords to try and deal with some of the fireballs. Okay. That's a, that's a hit. Doesn't get the super jump. Oh, that, that was a good teleport. <laughs> I'm saying it looks like oh. she's trying to end, but gets tagged by Virgil. All right, now that was a great dash there from, uh, from Drew Torres. Got him under the Morgans. Uh, still can't close it out, though, and he's wasted his X Factor. Now this is really just Morgan's game again. Say, we're, we're only halfway through, and Drew Torres already hit the even if I don't get in part of the game. Yeah. Uh, zero could go down to chip damage here. No. If he had got one more hit on Morgan, it would have been so much better. Uh, uh, hard to punish. Not that's close super. enough. Chris G doesn't get a combo there, but of course, that's just an American reset. And it looks like Doom may not be long for this world. I think we're super short. Well, no. Virgil might take care of it. Let's see what he has. He's going to get a loot. Uh, no, just goes for the double. All right. Now Too late. For the uh, reset, he just up. dashes into the missiles. Oh, goodness. It's not looking good for Drew Torres in this first round. He blocks the cross-up, though. I cannot believe that. Uh, but uh, then gets, gets over by the 2A. He gets hit low while crouching. Uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> he was mashing. He was mashing. Yeah, he you definitely know. had a button. Well, that's one for Chris G. I got to say, uh, Drew had a lot of chances in that one. We'll yeah, he, see he really did. If actually. he finds them and capitalizes this time. We could be looking at a very different match in this round. <sighs> Not with running into those fireballs, though. Yeah, I have to imagine that was a fireball that got dropped. Okay, good dash over. Unfortunately, just dashes and lands on the fireball. Oh, zero yeah, is bleeding. Zero. Okay, good push blocks, hard, hard tags. tags. And safely hard tags. Yeah. This time it's into Doom, so he's going to keep the Virgil online. Good navigation there. Only got hit by one missile. Lost very minimal life. Chris G actually going to run out of mirror without an extra bar. Just isn't something you see very well. But Almost. Oh, oh, he has to be careful blocking. He just gave her the meter. All right, good dash. Chance, oh, but, but the missiles Doom caught missiles up to him. From off screen. Oh, <laughs> uh, this hat. Doom back I in with nothing. Yeah. I can only imagine how frustrating this is for Drew. He, while maybe the calls haven't been the best, he's been trying to capitalize off of them and just runs into, like, the worst luck every time. Yeah, I okay, mean. Good push block. Hit missiles really are a best. <laughs> oh, okay. But we have a chance. That was a good round trip there. Looks like we're going we're gonna to clear the doom. All right. So we still we have Morgan. Half of X just factor, just over a bar. Oh, a double trigger left. on the incoming. And that's a dead Morgan. Now, what are you doing? All right, all right. Fight? Virgil? Block into the Gucci belt? No, into another DT instead. Okay. Trying to, oh, that was a really good chip attempt. Rapid slash, nope. Stays blocking. All right, now, Chris G has uh, four meter or four four Gucci belts, essentially, right? So Drew's just going to be another blocking one. Gets hit here by the stinger, though. Doesn't. That is the game. Oh, uh, okay. Actually hits weird, but. Oh, oh no. Oh, three set, uh, but he's not blocking. I wonder if he like tried to roll into the corner and thought that he was uh, blocking the other side. I think that may have been the case, or maybe he tried to like get a grab immediately when he uh, when he stands up. There's very there's some very niche situations where that's actually possible, and I think that would have uh, maybe just given him a little bit more uh, space to try to try to, I guess, take the game. Yeah. Okay. Drops the combo there on the zero. You saw in the player can there, Drew definitely not happy about this. Absolutely not. He's got one more chance if he succumbs to the Morgan. Now it's over. I mean, but he's in winners, so he, he does winners, have more yeah. chances to fight. All right. Actually find his own hidden missiles there. Going to let him start a little bit of offense. Oh, good hit. No pick Doesn't up, get though. the catch up. Hey, but just gets hit mid. All right. Nice assist call. No weird hits. Drops the combo. Dashes into the missiles there. Hidden missiles on the way, though. But Drew's were not in time. No. No, they were not. <laughs> All right. Good blocking here from Drew. Uh, I know he wants to super jump out of the situation. All he's doing is giving her more meter. It's like we're about to DHC in the Virgil. I was going to say, but chicken blocking to not get hit. You, you got to get there. Doesn't get a combo there. Coming down with the medium. Ooh, it's so big. Hitting missiles on the way. Being Gets below Doom was no. so dangerous there, but he just jumped in the grab anyway. All right. Chris G is definitely going to clear this Virgil off screen. Yeah, Doesn't need to waste any more meter. Only about a little bit of the X-Factor left. Yeah. But going to get a lot of chip in before Drew decides to pop. 
the, the situation is, though, like, even once Drew uses his X Factor, he's still in a just a horrible situation, right? Oh, yeah. He still has to aggress, uh, aggress Morgan, who still has Dr. Doom assist, and he has one meter. It is not going to be productive unless he does it on a hit, but good luck finding the hit. Exactly. And it gets counter hit out a of Fireball super. knocks out the super. Oh, my God. Clean 3-0 from Chris G. What can you expect from the man? Say, the first game looked like we had a couple hiccups, but two and three, he, he got it wrapped up pretty quick. Absolutely. Man. Looks like we're about to have Wedge versus Sonda Light up next. And now Let's Chris see. G, I think, progresses – if it's not straight in the grand final, uh, no, into that's the winner finals, finals now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, just go over the bracket again real fast while we're waiting. That was our first winner's game. Winner semi was uh, Chris G versus Drutorius. Uh, other winner semis is Wedge versus Sondalite. Yep. Losers, we have Dapvit versus Musa. Oh, Georgia that's team a, that's kill, a classic Georgia match. And then uh, other loser side is Jazz Rap versus Frankie G. Okay, that's also going to be a pretty yeah. good matchup. Now, uh, Jazz Rap is also someone who uses uh, unnecessarily unorthodox characters, but probably in an unortho unorthodox combination. Uh, he's known for playing uh, like Nova, Nova Doom, Spencer, throwing Dante in sometimes, depending on matchup. Uh, he has a good Wolverine, so Jazz Rap definitely will have like quite a few, uh, quite a few variances of his team that he can go through here. Say, so he might play a different one in every set you see him. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna go that crazy. Not, not like that. Not like <laughs> no, that. No. I've never seen him cycle through teams every set. I think a lot of the time when I see him or when I'm playing with him, it's just casuals. And now I know he's a lot better player than I am. So I bet I see some weird stuff. It wouldn't surprise me. Jazz Rap is definitely known to be one of those players who just holds for it, though. So <laughs> uh, depending on what you see, it may have actually just been normal Jazz Rap. Looks like we got the buttons uh, worked out here. Everyone plays the regular buttons, thank God. <laughs> At least I assume. Are these two pad players? These are two pad players. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the, two, the last two pad players in all of existence playing Marvel. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, I, I don't think my thumb would survive many games of Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Come like, on, playing on pad? No, that's, that's no chance. Yeah. That's so much work. Sometimes my fingers cramp up. I was going to say, are you playing box for Marvel? A hitbox? Yeah, I play hitbox for everything. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. It actually uh, it sort of blows my mind when players say they can't play a game on hitbox. So, like, they play hitbox for one game and stick for another. I, the muscle memory that they have to retain between two different, like, two different lever setups, that I'm, is wild. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty for sure. I mean, it's, it, it's crazy, but, uh, I mean, I think that's a – it's a point in your favor for you to be able to like switch seamlessly between those two. I used to fall back on stick for a while, and eventually, I was like, I, I can't, I can't keep doing it. I gotta, have to just gotta commit. I gotta commit. Point, yeah. yeah. All right, looks like we're setting up here. Deadpool Dante Strider. So we're gonna have Wedge on the left here, Sunlight on the right. Like I mentioned, Sondalite is a uh, Sondalite is that Taskmaster uh, Sentinel Virgil player. And these are uh, kind of known to be keep out characters, actually. The the two points here. So I'm interested to see how they're gonna how they're gonna navigate the matchup between the two of them. Wedge sort of playing already keep away, just uh, jumping as far back as he can, putting some stuff on the screen. Gets a good defensive uh, Dante call. Going to lead into uh, some pretty light damage here, but let's see what the setup looks like. Actually snaps into Virgil. Oh, doesn't I think even that's call pretty the reasonable. Assist. Yeah. Virgil's a character that probably every player wants to get rid of immediately, right? He has such, such great comeback potential, and he's a scary character if you really just let him play. And that will be a dead Virgil. Oh, okay. We're going for the uh, quick work. Uh, not quick work, goodness. Uh, cutting time super. For the also, make sure he has Deadpool in in time for Oki. Good block there from Sunlight. Doesn't block coming Not the down. the second one. Got launch. Okay. Let's see what the setup looking like. Good blocks. Good blocks. Pushes him out so he doesn't Commitment have to deal with too to much more aggression. Yeah. Now we'll see some Sentinel zoning until he's absolutely ready to go I'm in. I'm surprised I hit. Oh, great confirmed there from Sunlight. Dead, dead fool, of course. Let's see what the mix is. 
Oh, oh it's tag, actually just tagging the Taskmaster. Taskmaster is such a, uh, a mobile character, so I, I can see why he wanted that. Sentinel says presses too many buttons and lands getting hit there. Great pickup. What oh, is good he doing combo there from Wedge. Uh, he He's kills. actually going to find the kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he kills. That, that's, that's free. Dante does so much damage in X-Factor. Oh, and the acid rain just gives the confirmation to Wedge there. Does. That, that still kills, that looks like. That is it, yeah. Oh, oh no, no, not way. yet. Sentinel, that big boy health. But we're at chip here. Oh, we actually oh, got oh, saved oh, by the oh, one drone. Oh, but just into the, the air high voltage. Oh, no. Airplay, rather. Yeah. Or airplay. Sitting here pretending like I remember all of Dante's move names. Not a chance. One of them high voltage, I think, is just the, the pillar, right? Is that the Psycho Crusher? Or the no, and I think it's the, no, the it pillar. The, 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 the yeah. DP heavy. You know, or yeah, wait. the snap into Virgil again. You know it. If, you, if there's a problem to get rid of as quick as you can, it's probably Virgil. It's absolutely Virgil. I imagine maybe if Sunlight had the chance to get the offense, he may want to take uh, take care of Strider, but Strider uh, played very little, very little consequence last game. No, actually doesn't kill. There's the hard tag. Well, that Virgil may be a factor yet, unless we see another snap. Drops the, the, the assist there. combo. Ooh! Oh, he's, oh, I had to imagine he was trying to block cross up there. It totally looked like it was going to happen. It, it did. And I think uh, Sonic like, really wanted to get both characters there for the confirm. Does he get the super? No. Presses H coming down. Actually, presses. Sentinel two. Wow, this is an X Factor, isn't it? No, he's going to do the DHC. No, I, I think he's still going to X Factor. Hold on. Oh, no, he lets him go. Okay. It's a good use of X Factor there. Now, here we're actually seeing a keep away uh, gameplay there from Wedge. Just for a moment, just wanted to sort of, uh, I guess, reestablish neutral here. DHC yeah, for like pressure. Uses right. Every meter to try to get in. Yeah, I think he's uh, pretty committed to this Virgil, trying to recover some health on the other guys. That's a good point. Well, gets a good grab here. Drops it. Just that must have been Stinger. Uh, I think he wanted. I think he wanted um, DP. Oh yeah. Rising well, Deadpool sun. finds the rest of the hit. This Taskmaster is not very healthy and is going to die on incoming. Yeah, agreed. And we're going back to a half health Sentinel. Now let's see how how well this mix up works on Sentinel, who has same side an option for hard drive on incoming, but just presses H there. Uh, Least one getting hit. It looks like Wedge is just going to go 2-0 uh, right now. All right. I say, I like that Wedge is keeping it pretty simple on the Oki. I think he's gone same side, like, all but the first time. But you know what's funny? Like, knowing that that setup is so very easy to cross up with as well, I think it just makes it worse. Yeah, you have to guess. There's yeah. no way around it. And so, like, getting hit the same side uh, both times, Sonlight may, like, actually hesitate to block the other side because... You can still just get hit the other way, not not expecting it. That's the switch. The I know you know situation. And that's a dead Virgil. Well, Virgil won't be a factor in uh, this game. Anyway, Wedge, Wedge has been pretty consistent. Good teleport using the Strider to pin him down. Gets a hit here. Let's see what the look combo looks like. Gets another meter. He's just gonna reset. Does he? He does reset. Sunlight burns the double jump to get out of there. Taskmaster gonna punish it? No, out of range. No, but he did. Uh, he did get a safe, uh, safety eight C. Oh no. Shield skills just lets him get hit. Mm -mm. Unfortunate. Sunlight has not had a, a solid start to any of the games, and now he's really bleeding. I think this is a bigger life lead than either of the other two games. Now you have Taskmaster dead here. That's super. Uh, he still has three meters and X Factor. It is X Factor Sentinel. But doesn't block. And won't have Sentinel anymore either. Well, we'll see Sondalite again later. That's another 3 0. Pretty quick games. A <laughs> couple of close calls in there, like uh, missing the kill on Virgil that one time. Uh, you know, that, that almost had Sondalite back in the game. Yeah, agreed. Agreed.
Uh, and it looks like we're going to have that bit versus Musa coming up next. Now, I can't imagine anybody watching hasn't seen Darius play, but uh, if he lands at 300%, it's, it's a bad time. Uh, I've always felt that you have two chances to play uh, against that VIP, right? His order is Dante, uh, Dante X23 and Iron Man, and you have like the neutral, the actual neutral beginning of the game yeah. to play against Dante. Then if Dante hits you, you have to guess right on the uh, TAC. Otherwise, you it's pretty over. much just lose the game immediately there. Uh, there are some characters who get like an OS situation to actually make it out. Characters like Doom, maybe even Virgil. Um, but it's, it's a really bad time, right? <laughs> now, Musa is that, uh, that Magneto Doom Ami player. Um, and this is actually, like I said, a pretty, a pretty like, run-of-the-mill Georgia matchup, right? Yeah, uh, happened hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. They used to run uh, GB, uh, constantly would end up in bracket against each other. And uh, it really seems like more of a toss-up to see who wins back then anyway. So let's see how both players are feeling today. Say, obviously, Musa's team well-equipped to deal with that round start scenario. Like, Magneto has a lot of control on the rushdown. Yep. And then the Ami assist, you know, that's a lot of active hitboxes going to be on the screen for a while. And Musa has such a good command of his Magneto and his movement as well. So uh, he's definitely going to be able to just put Darius in a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of unsure situations. But Darius is a very very good defensive player, right? He's been playing characters like Magneto, uh, playing against characters like Magneto and Doom and Wolverine and Zero for years with a character like Dante, who's uh, pretty much known for like not really having the best matchups against any of those characters. And Darius has been surviving this long. So Darius has a great defensive uh, game style to try to get around them. Uh, there's the air early throw. grab. So this could lead in a kill here, or will he snap just to go ahead for maybe the X, uh, X23 of the Iron Man? Okay, a reset into the Ame call. Let's say, I think we see a dead Dante from here. Yeah, this is a very easy kill on Dante, I think. Magneto's still tight after all these years, man. <laughs> all right, Musa still has two more meters. Let's see what this mix-up's gonna be. All right, Ami, forces Darius yeah. to block, and he does not, unfortunately. Maybe he uh, trying messed to, up push Trying block. to chicken jump out of there, I think. Just yeah. got hit on the jump start up, probably. But that's a dead X-23. Four bars, plenty well stocked. All right, uh, Musa trying to trying to back off there after that X-Factor. Well, you oh, know, as many 300% as many that I've seen, I've also seen Darius make a bunch of Iron Man comebacks. Absolutely. Darius jumping actually gave Musa the perfect uh, the perfect gap to DHC and to uh, Dr. Doom. Because in the slow field. Oh, no! It cancels into the three? Well, <laughs> this is a start. That boom can actually get the kill here. Yeah, that's a dead dog. Well, how about that? Coming in with a very or fairly low Magneto. The finds the jump. Good escape there for Musa, putting some more space in between him and this Iron Man. He doesn't really want Iron Man to get too uh, too close. If Iron Man is below him, it's a really bad situation for him to land into. Good button there. the 2L. Dead Iron Man. All right. Yeah, Musa started in the driver's seat, but kind of got shaky there. Darius Iron Man still, still, a threat. still pretty sick. Yeah, exactly. Musa takes the first game, though. Let's see what the second game looks like. A nice air play to sort of stop Magneto from There's walking into him. There's a throw from Dante. All right. This is pretty big. All right, we're not, looks like we're not going to go into the, oh, we're going to hard uh, uh, snap out. Oh. I respect trying to get rid of Ami. The, uh, the slow super is so tough for a team to play around. It is. It really is. I agree. All right, looks like we're going to get a kill here on Ame. Oh. I don't think I he remembered he, he missed the ground, ground bounce. bounce. Yeah. All right, Musa playing, uh, trying to just play around this Iron uh, Iron Man beam here. Oh, good blocks. I was say, really trying to take advantage of that uh, second chance he was given. Runs into the Dante there, and of course Darius with the uh, confirmation after the super. It's going to be a dead Magneto. All right, let's see what the mix-up's like. Now, Darius doesn't really have yet, uh, doesn't really have the situation for level three 
It's not level three, I'm sorry, uh, the 300% just yeah. yet. But he's building that bar, getting close. Oh, good push block Good there. air throw again. Converts with the Iron Man assist. Strange. Uh, More directly in Dante's in. arms. All I right. see. I see the uh, the plank dash coming out there. He, he got like a, the air dash straight into the throw. Oh no! Just gets a little too antsy there. Okay, Drops but the combo. And follow my lead. It's gonna allow uh, Musa to to try to aggress Dante there. Good grab. Gets the confirmation. Say three bars. Optional X factor. All right. Go ahead, burn the level three, get rid of Dante. Now that takes care of um, X23 sort of like locking you into the corner of that screen when she goes for her uh, her level three. Oh no! He misses the foot dive, has the X Factor, keep himself alive. Oh wow! And he gets Still the picks up. Let's go. That that was definitely a, a GameStop trade there for Darius. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's the nature of foot dive, isn't it? An early follow the lead there from Musa. Try to put Darius in a very bad situation on block. Uh, he gets a lot of mix-up chances during that follow, uh, follow my lead. Finds a whiff, honey. Oh, good. What a pickup, man. That was insane. That was amazing. Yeah. No X Factor, so yeah, I couldn't kill you. Iron, um, Iron Man was still a half-life, and Doom and didn't have a level three. And uh, the DHC doesn't really do that much damage, so I definitely understand uh, Musa wanting to reset that situation. Yeah. But he did get the second game as well. Now, uh, Darius is actually fighting from quite a deficit here. He has to try to get some more momentum on his side. Adaptation is the name of the game here. I'll say uh, Darius hasn't been able to get his plan going, like what his team is designed to do. As fast as Magneto is, Darius has been hunting this man down. Oh. Good staggers there. And that's going to be a dead Magneto. Has to be a dead Magneto for Don, uh, for Darius. Without spinning bar? There All we right. go. All right. Let's see what the Acid Rain mix-up's like. Same side. Nice. That was so tricky. <laughs> Yeah, Dante got the movement, just will mix you from anywhere, anytime. You have a moment, I'm under you. He let him roll himself into like that sandwich right there with Unibeam and Dante. It's going to be a death right here on uh, Dr. Doom. Now, um, uh, geez, not Ame. X23 still doesn't have a uh, level three, so uh, Musa does get another chance to play here. There was a cross, but Musa blocks it. A right, good jump out there, doesn't, uh, doesn't allow him to block the Iron Man assist. X Factor 3 Ami is so ridiculously fast, man. Musa's trying to get some offense before his X Factor runs out. Oh! There's the pickup. All right. And the slowdown allows Dante to be punishable after high voltage. Not something you normally see. There'll be one kill looking for the Oki into the X23. I actually like that escape from Darius. Didn't have to block the paper once he fell to the ground. But Musa's still there with some good offense. Unfortunate drop. Oh. Gets put by Iron Man assist and X23 may be able to kill here. Yeah, he has yeah. does level three. Here in the Iron Avenger. Yep. And then obviously post super pickup into another super and we're good to go. Drops the All cannon right. on that dog's face. Darius is staying alive. Yes, you're still, absolutely right. Still didn't do what his, uh, what his team set out to do, but maybe we'll get this one. Nice. Two A staggers. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Another stagger gets the oh good Actually break there for right. Musa. Yeah. Musa wants to continue playing that, playing that neutral. Like you were saying, you, you get two chances: the neutral beforehand, and you got to guess right on the DH or the uh, TAC. Yeah. He was trying to lock Dante into that corner, but Darius, like I said, has a very great uh, evasive game, so he was able to get himself out. Unibeam almost led to a combo there. Runs in and gets clapped by Hammer. Not what he wants there. And a good mix yeah, from Darius. Now, okay, we're going to go for the reset on the Doctor Doom. Good block that time from Musa. Foot dive. Uh, actually misses the pickup with the Cold Star that time. 
was a little too slow with those buttons. Darius doing the classic. I mean, sit back, do a beam, run in, try and find the hit. Oh. Gets hit pressing, possibly. That was a good follow of my lead uh, there from Musa. It looked like he was maybe waiting for Darius to press the button, and the moment he did. Drops. DHG's oh. out, actually willing to. Never oh, mind. He, Finds he, the hit. To. he dropped the combo, though. Oh, That's no. Rough. Turned a bad situation into the best it could have been and dropped it. This is rough. And it just leaves Musa at plus here. The follow my lead gets the cross up, and the lightning strikes Dante. Iron Man comeback time, but no X Factor. A good block there from Darius. Now, uh, foot dive, no pickup. I was just about to say, Musa's sort of in trouble here. He has no meter. He does still have an assist, but he has to be aware of uh, Darius's options. He can sort of just level three if he sees. Uh, oh, wow. That's Good a big confirm. start. That looks like that's a dead Dr. Doom, right? Doesn't even really need to. He does need to pick up. Maybe just smart bombs, okay? And now, what's the mix up here? Still has one spar to spend on dog, but. Oh, good low block. Just gets and hit overhead. Air dash the, the H. Of course, that's a drop. Oh, oh that's so tense. I'm, I'm waiting for the slow super. It's got to come at some point, right? There it is. Like right there. There we go. You just wanted some space. Actually runs into the smart bombs. Wow. And That's that, still new. Even slow, the um, the repulsor was going to gonna catch there. No bar to convert. Still live. But it was getting low on the clock, damage. too. That's... <laughs> No way. Oh, does he hit? Oh, no he went way. under it. And Musa gets the win. Darius, very unhappy about oh, that Oh, absolutely. Absolutely sad. God. How often do you see that interaction? Never. No, I, I don't really think I've ever seen that happen in the hundreds of times I've seen them play. A little shaky on both sides. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, but, but it is 2024. <laughs> it is 2024. And, of course, both of these men play other games now. Uh, oh, yeah. They actually both play Street Fighter uh, Six pretty heavily. So this was sort of like a return to the past for them. Uh, but Musa was still able to make it work. Yeah. And he's going to go forward in the loser's bracket. Uh, and yeah. he'll be fighting the winner right here of Jazz Rat versus Frankie G, who's, uh, who we have coming yeah. up next. He'll be fighting uh, Sondalite. Oh, yeah, that's next already set? Game. All right. Well, excuse me. Sorry. No worries. No worries. But yeah, we'll have uh, Jazz versus Frankie G right here. And the winner of them... We'll fight uh, the winner of Musa. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll go to losers. Ah, okay. uh, I forgot sorry. how brackets work, apparently. Ah, it's all good, man. <laughs> it's been a long day already. It, it really has, actually. Ah, <sighs> man. Always good to see Jazz Rap. Uh, if y'all don't know, he's kind of like the new game killer. Almost any time that a new game comes out in Georgia, he'll show up to the first couple locals, win or come to near to winning, yeah. and then just disappear from the game. It's his classic. But he always has a home to return to, and, and that's Marvel for him a lot of the time. Jazz Rap's always been a pretty strong player, and in Marvel he's just so dominant. His, his, whole, his whole board game play style nets him so much. But now Frankie G is also one of those sort of uh, unexpected uh, unexpected players. He he has a, a bit of randomness to his style that nets him wins that people don't expect him to get, right? So uh, I'm excited I'm excited to see what Frankie G is going to sort of pull out of his, his uh, hat of tricks. Especially since Magneto into Spencer is not necessarily the best matchup for Magneto, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, you always have to be wary that if that Spencer has a bar, anything you try to come in uh, doing too unprotected just gets bionic armed, right? Yeah. And uh, both of your assists are kind of – well, your beam assist is definitely integral to your gameplay here with Magneto, so you don't want to lose that. And then if you're just Magneto with, uh, with Virgil assist, then it's even worse. We also know Spencer players, the willingness to arm into X-Factor to secure a kill early in a game. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely right. All right, Frankie G trying to escape. Unfortunately, the missile is doing a combo on the assist. 
Oh, that Dr. Doom is bleeding. Oh, but a good happy birthday there from Frankie. I'll say, is this a dead Doom over there? Just about, just about. Right, good defensiveness there. Uh, Frankie going to try and clean up the Spencer as quickly as I can. As I can. Oh. Now, Jazzrap's Deadpool is up. Uh, not Deadpool, Jesus. Dr. Doom is also pretty much dead. So he has to be careful calling that character as well. I think that's part of why he was uh, slowing good. it down with Spencer wow. there for a while, just tethering away. Arm punish. Oh, punish on the beam. Oh, my lord. He did call that Doom in. Going to go ahead and DHC into Virgil, get the DT, set some Oki up. Doesn't get the fly there. He's just pressing buttons. I don't know how many of those were just dropped inputs. All right, we're going to try to DHC into Virgil now. Good blocks there from Jazz Rap under that dash under. Oh. The 2A stagger just gets hit by Mash 2C. I imagine that may have been a push block, but Jazz Rap was absolutely ready to confirm it. And that's going to be a dead uh, dead Virgil. Now, Frankie still has Magneto. Magneto maybe not the uh, the most common X-Factor uh, comeback character. And it won't be coming back in this match either. No, sir. Oh, no, Wait. he's alive. A good X-Factor. Has to be aware of the missile. Oh, Gets there we go. There. Gets the Tri-Dash S. Oh, good job forcing uh, forcing Jazz Raptor maybe block there with the Spencer. No he doesn't way, block low bro. there. This is actually doable. Oh, good blocks. Good block from Jazz Rap and a great job backing up from Frankie. Yeah, got, got, the, got the important push block there, so he didn't have to deal with the high. But chip out. Yeah, That's there it. we go. No way, man. He had an absolute wall that Doom could not get close enough to penetrate. Give any of these characters one chance. You're right. Big <laughs> combo on the Doom. Oh, good punish there. He's a punish Gets for the dash it, but too not early. Drop the combo. Oh, good, good grab. Good scoop. All right, let's see what this combo is going to look like. Hard tags into Doom. Drops loses the, combo. the red health and drops the combo, but it's okay. We have uh, Disruptor there to give us another chance. This is not even. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to spin the bar there for a second. But it's good. Secure the kill. That's the important part. And I think here he's going to be wanting to look for like a good hit into Snap so he can take out the Virgil. And then uh, with with this entire team versus Doom, you can sort of just chill, right? Let Doom hang himself. Yeah. I was going to say, the first thing he's going to do is super X-Factor, get his way in for one mix-up, and then you, you get to keep him out for sure. All right. Now, Jazzraft's also going to... Uh, oh, he did not want that super... It's going to be a punish. Oh, good X-Factor. Alexa X-Factor. Keep that Virgil safe. Makes sense to me. Good blocks there. You have to be careful with these buttons. No pickup after the beam. Jazz wrap again. Uh, gets the push yeah, block, but the push block is actually a crouch H. Let's kill this Virgil. Dead Virgil. We also have two bar. Just going to go up with the M. Oh, Helmbreaker after the grab break uh, leads to a dead Dr. Doom, but we still have Magneto. Magneto doesn't have X Factor, but he does uh, maybe not have this game either. A little bit late on the call there. Hidden Missile's actually hitting on the way up, dropped the combo. But I say Jazz Rap sort of had like a wall there with all those those high times because Magneto doesn't want to get too close, right? Because if he just gets close, with, I'm sorry, with the Helmbreakers, then yeah. he just leads to, leads to death. Yeah, I just want to point out the very end there. Virgil H, chef's kiss. Yeah, button absolutely. is ridiculous. <laughs> the meme button itself, right? All right, good hard tag combo there from Frankie. Uh, I'm not sure if this actually leads to a dead Spencer. It's definitely going to be some good damage. We do have both up for some crazy Oki. Oh, okay. Uh, he may have gotten more ground out of level three there, but I think he's going to DHC um, all the way. Goes all the way. Finish off with a little sword loop here. Or drops, drops the, combo, the combo, wake up arm, and hard tags into Doom. Was that worth saving the character? I, I don't know. Um, I mean, you sort of have to, he's forcing his opponent to sort of maybe put more uh, mental power into maybe trying to either snap Doom uh, so he can get that Virgil back. 
but now uh, Jab not as Virgil has gotten all that incapable. red light back. Yeah, especially with the team behind him. Gets tagged by the one. Nobody coming out too great in that situation. Yeah, Frankie's Doom is bleeding here. Oh, but that's a good uh, foot dive. It's confirmed. He may get the level three here. On drop the combo, but a good reset. A couple of box dash M's gets him a combo here. Gonna find it there and Doom save from the Jazz. bar. Right, yeah, it's a hard tag. Okay. Economical decision. As soon as you just kill him, then. Did he press a button? No, Arm, he did not. Get the Virgil and a good low. grab. Gonna go straight in there at level three here. This is gonna waste a decent amount of X Factor though, so this maybe isn't that bad of an idea. Okay. But Virgil still has a little X Factor. He has to be careful still. It's also only X Factor two. May not be enough. Oh, good crossover there. Now X Factor one Magneto with the whole team behind him can definitely do it. Barring any drops. No. All right. Frankie G closes out his second win there. All right. Let's see what game four holds for the competitors here. A lot of games taking some time there. You know, several drops, uh, some spaghetti. Oh, good. Confirmed there off the zip. Missiles coming behind them. Frankie G sort of just had to play a little defensive there. But those missiles actually only hit, only hit like, the space where Spencer was. Didn't ever really threaten Magneto. Kind of funny. All right, nice confirmed there into the TAC. Does he have the infinite here? Oh, doesn't want to. No. Just going to go for level three. Who needs it? Kill the Spencer. I absolutely agree with this decision here. We're going to hard tag out the Magneto. Okay. Doom coming in, gets crossed. Good cross under from Frankie there. Now, Frankie still doesn't have uh, very much meter to work with, so it's going to be hard to kill. We're going to snap into Virgil. A good block there from Jazz, I'm but cool. gets the legs clipped. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that decision. Oh, no. Finds another hit anyway. The hyper grab just it's barely just missed. Better. Yeah, again, Frankie's going to play it a little bit lame. Just back up. Let Doom hang himself. You have everything you need in your team behind you. Oh, I can't believe he didn't hit the jump hit there. That may cost him the game. Oh, Jazz Rap burns the X Factor but still stands. And that crouching M is enough to get Frankie that last game. Rough. Fun to see Magneto out here today. Absolutely. Character is always tight, forever, always will be. I may or may not be biased when I say I love to see a Magneto play. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to have uh, Chris G versus Wedge for Winner's Finals. Let's see. Unfortunately, end of the day for Jazz Rap. Oh, that is. Two Georgia it? boys yeah. out. Oh, that's a heartbreaker, man. Absolutely. Jazz Rap and uh, that Vip were definitely like sort of the corner cornerstone of like the the Georgia UMB. Oh my goodness, UMBC uh, three scene. But, but it's all good, Moose regardless of who's still up. Still get to see some good competition. And you're and right, Moose is still, is still around, and Drew, yeah. yeah. So there's still there's still some Georgia to to maybe shine through here. Uh, they do have their own hurdles to to maybe make them uh, make themselves aware of. But I think we have a great chance to see maybe Georgia represented in the Grand Finals. I was going to say, you know, it, it wasn't a big tournament, all things considered, but having four in top eight against so many good players today. Absolutely. Pretty good. Especially when most of the players were outside outside of uh, Georgia entrance. Yeah. So. And I know the guys down here still grind Marl pretty hard. You know, there's the uh, the online TNS events. Shout out, yeah. to, shout out to those guys. Shout out to Tong. Good watches. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. Yeah. Guys, uh, while we're waiting on the next match, we're going to show you some stuff, talk about our supporters here. Uh, well, how about this one? Momocon is sponsoring us for the cosplay contest happening tomorrow at 1.30. Don't recall whether that one's going to be on stream, but play it by ear. Be sure to follow us on the socials. Uh, Max Mode, you saw our lineup today. Great time. And, of course, Momocon and um, SNK have been huge supporters of the tournament. Great contributions to the pop bonuses, Street Fighter, Tekken, K-Web. Uh, oh, Jazzy oh, Circuit. Oh, Jazzy Circuit. I forgot about that. This That's one's exciting, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, we have the third strike event happening later, uh, 8 o'clock. I'm not sure if we're going to be on data stream or on this stream, but be sure to catch us. Follow both the stream and the data FGC stream, folks. You'll see us eventually. All right, and Chris G has made it back. Got him back from watching Grand Blue. Saw that he is also in the top eight for that game, I believe. 
I think uh, if I heard correctly, Chris G waited until like the last 30 minutes of online registration to sign up for almost every game. That here sounds like him at max mode. That sounds right. And it would not surprise me surprise me if he's made it to top eight in all of those games too. This Chris G guy is pretty good at video games. Just a little, right? Thinking back about history, you know, now that we're past this COVID stuff, kind of returning back to life, Chris G's been around forever, man. Um, I definitely remember seeing him come up, like, in the, the Street Fighter IV era. Um, I definitely saw him make his, uh, his, like, his start in Marvel and then was present for pretty much every other game that came out around then, right? Uh, KOF 13, uh, 14, 15. What else did we have around those times, man? I, the only game I don't actually remember ever seeing him play was Tekken. So I don't even know if he's actually in the Tekken bracket. That or if he was playing Tekken. I wouldn't know for sure. This will be an interesting one for sure. You know, Deadpool, a, a little bit more zoning potential. I just don't know if he can break through all of Morgan's fireballs. Well, he definitely has a lot of durability that he puts out with those guns. Just not enough, apparently. Those fireballs just inexorable. I was going to say, too, Morgan might just get too high on the screen to deal with. Oh, teleports in the crouching light there. This may be a dead Deadpool. A, a Deadpool? A, anyway. This goes for the mix. All right. Uh, gets, the, gets the sister sister. Uh, doesn't mind resetting here, especially since he just puts Deadpool in a horrible situation with his back against the corner, and he's just going to try to force him to block. Is that going to hit? Oh, it yes, it did. There. And he confirmed. Does that, does that, oh, my goodness. That's an X Factor. He the two, absolutely. Yeah, he absolutely wants to kill both of these characters, right? Oh, that was that such is about a good. as good as you get. Oh, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. But now he still has Virgil, right? And he's already used his X Factor. That heart cross? Nope. He was able to block. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, uh, Virgil's buttons are so big I'd that it's impossible to come by. We're come still here with the, the level three Virgil. Now ooh, NDT, ooh, so he's ooh. not going to build any bar, but who needs bar when you just kill you him just in kill a couple normals? Fast. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, some dangerous Strider buttons there from the Wedge. I don't think the Strider can solo kill from here. No, he can't, but he has some good, uh, good mix-up potential. Oh, that was so scary. Oh, good block. Good block here for Wedge. It is so rare you get to see solo Strider play. And now Wedge has two meters, but the meters aren't really good uh, in neutral. No, until he gets the third one. Uh, this may be a dead Strider here. Oh, not if he drops the combo. If he can get the space, he can go for Ouroboros. But Swords oh, is so dangerous. Oh, try some mash. Uh, I was about to say Swords is so dangerous because it negates Ouroboros, so he sort of has to wait until that meter ran out. Yeah. Unfortunately, but he couldn't hold on. Blocking Virgil for, for seven seconds or so. Very difficult. Yeah. Actually finding the Ooh. early hit here. That was Didn't a great have to try too hard. Wedge. I imagine, okay, the DHC, or the TAC, right? It. Yeah, TAC, he's just going to go ahead and go for the kill here. Mad respect. Kill Morgan. You don't want to deal with her. Put the dead pool back in. And now we have the team back in the right, uh, right order, right? Good blocks there from Frank uh, from Chris G. Say we're not seeing a kill on Doctor Doom here, but all the assists are back up. Such pressure from Wedge! Oh my lord! Uh, I don't know if this leads into a dead Doctor Doom here. No, but we're gonna snap in Virgil. Virgil. He does not block the uh, quick work. Does hit the X. Uh, ah, gotta get to the second bar, and then we're gonna kill. Oh, just barely gets the meter there. Oh, we're going to cut to Dante early. Should still give him the kill. All right. Deadpool switch. We'll see the Dante call here in a sec after this super, I assume. No, we're just chilling. We want to see this X Factor pop before we commit to anything. And I completely understand that. Oh, good, uh, good Dante call there. Should be a dead doom. Sort of uh, lets that scramble just turn into a, a great situation. Oh, no. Oh, he thought he was going to get the meter for super there. <laughs> Dr. Doom always dangerous. But has a huge hill to climb. Running out of X Factor now. Finds oh, that hit, though. That's great a dead foot dive Deadpool. from Chris G. No X Factor anymore. 
but uh, if he can get rid of the Deadpool, this isn't that bad uh, of a situation. You're going to do it with right? one? Oh, no. I Yo. don't know if that kills. That doesn't oh, kill. No. Come down. Does not hit the punish, though. This is a dead Deadpool for sure. Oh, he hits the and the Dante gets hit. It won't be a dead. Uh, no, yeah, it won't come close to killing Dante, right? But a little damage can go a long way, possibly. Oh, he has to block that. Finds a block on the Astro Rain, but chip is a huge factor here. Dante oh. does so much chip with the DT moves. Good job chasing after Dante, so there he doesn't it get the clearance for the, uh, for the Lightning Bolt, but um, assist and twister is going to do enough damage to, to take Doom down there out of chip. Looks a little scary. Yeah. On both sides, actually, when the Deadpool combo didn't kill and then when the Doom didn't kill. Oh, is it? Oh, no, he's still close enough. Start again. Oh, my God. But drops it. That was almost such a sick confirm there and invasion. God, every time you drop against Morgan could be the end of the game. You're absolutely right. There's still His missiles coming in. Actually, interesting. He used missile super, not not mirror there. No pickup. Just too high for Morgan to chase, of course. Missiles Ooh, coming. Still got a block. block there from Wedge. Finds the Dante assist. And the bolo is going to lead to a combo here. Uh, not sure how. Oh, this may kill. No. No, it's too, that has to be too much health, right? 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 We might X? No, this kills. No, this kills. No way, bro. Oh, he's going to be able to get the hard tag into the quick work uh, mix up. There it is, the cross. He tried to dash down to sort of uh, down and back to avoid it, but still got caught. Are with we the seeing the snap? Mm, there we go. Cross oh, again. Gets the Virgil. Spins the X. Going to have to build two to get the kill in here. But it's no problem. Oh, doesn't get that there last quick is. work. Oh, no. Cross that time. Oh, and he had called Strider. Oh, this could be disastrous. For Wedge, That's anyway. Two dead Chris, you love this. Oh, no. No X Factor. All right, Wedge has a very big kill to climb here. Oh. <laughs> Dante <laughs> has another problem in this kind of situation, and it's the clock. You got to find the hit first, and then solo oh. Dante combos take forever. They, they really do. They do so little damage. Oh, no. His inputs got turned around there. He definitely wanted a Volcano. Missile's still coming. Got to respect it. More missiles already. Ooh. Rishi chases him down into the corner, and a couple buttons gives him the Gucci belt. Huh? Okay. With the amount of sword loops we've seen drop the day, I didn't want to say anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that Dr. Doom assist button getting absolutely Deadly. high APM action over yeah. there. <laughs> Just framing the assist okay. <laughs> All right, now uh, Wedge is which is kind of in a bad position here, but it's not unsurmountable, right? He definitely won that game that, that he did win almost pretty clean. So if he can lock, if you can lock Morgan down, there was a lot of conditionals on that one, my man. Uh, <laughs> it was a little rough. Uh, unfortunately, Morgan's getting started here, and Deadpool's life is whittling away. Up, oh, another super Back super. He has to be worried about the missiles. Oh no! DT, keep yourself safe. Run some offense. He managed to avoid the missiles. Well, I think he got the doom uh, hit before the missiles came out. We're gonna give him some clearance. Oh, Just nice. Like Nice hit on the assist there. Still a missile to be uh, scared of. Uh, Dante still without bar. Wedge is doing a great job counter calling these assists. That's two. Oh, Does no. Does the, the killer be there? Never mind. Who needs it? Just cross. 2-2-S. Two, two, oh, that was sick. That was sick. Uh, maybe Chris G expected to, to be blocking that that uh, quick work high voltage uh, setup. Say but he yeah. just went for the Katanarama. It's gonna be a dead Virgil. All right. Wedge took the second game. Two two. This last is that game the first same side there. that he's done? The first it's the same side? Yeah, the first same side. Uh, I don't know actually because I don't know what it, side those those quick works hit on. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good block there on the Strider call. But the high voltage allows uh, Wedge to get that bolo. Going to commit everything to kill Morgan. 
Uh, he may. Okay. No, chose Go for the Loki. reset. Value Town? Nah. Uh, doesn't get the Doom, unfortunately. We will get the Doom back into play with low health. Or half health. So much damage on that, Morgan. The up guns. Yeah, Michael like Wedge was cutting that screen off for Chris G, right? Because he knows Chris G wants to get some height. Oh! The dodges are so good, man. Good block there from Chris G again. Nice block on the Finds Dante assist, well. and it pushes him into the Deadpool. All right, let's see what this combo's like. Huh? Drop, unfortunately. Just a little early with the crouching gate. Good break. Still going to have to deal with. Oh, also lost a bar in there, matching out a super. Oh, doesn't block the cross under there. He may lose his Dante. He may lose the game. I mean, Strider can still still play, right? Strider still has X Factor. He almost has three meters. He just has to block. I don't, I don't know how, how realistic a, a snap would have been there. Oh, good block. No, but doesn't block the Rapid Slash. Oh, man. Had such a good start to the game there. Just couldn't follow it up. And Chris G barrels through uh, to grand finals there. That last game was very convincing uh, in Chris G's favor. Uh, but Wedge is going to drop down to losers finals now. Yeah, losers and finals. so now we're just going to see who can make it to him. Yeah, we'll see Wedge again in two games. Okay. And so who do we or, have coming up now? Game, we right have right. Sand uh, Sandlight versus Musa. Yeah. Quarters finals for the loser side. Oh, this is going to be a pretty good game, right? Uh, now, Sondalite playing Taskmaster has uh, a great way to sort of control the space in front of him. In front of him and sort of like that diagonal uh, area due to Taskmaster's uh, arrows. Yeah, so try and hurt that uh, Magneto movement a little bit. Yeah, yeah. going to hamper that Magneto movement. Um, with the Sentinel assist, he also has like a very slow-moving uh, force that you have to worry about, right? You don't yeah. want to let it box you in. So if you back dash into the corner to let the drones go above you, then Sondalite's Taskmaster is just sort of going to work his way in there with you. And those fast buttons, that sort of not necessarily high-low situation, but the low and maybe the uh, shield skill or the uh, swing is going to be actually a pretty, a pretty good mix-up. Uh, both of those can option select very easily into grabs from Song Delight. Say, this will this be a pretty momentum-heavy game. You know, yeah. does Magneto get in or do we get to start the zoning? No, it's not as if Magneto can't get in. You know, we still have the really strong uh, Doom Assist in the back behind it. Well, not even, uh, not just the Doom Assist, right? Because uh, Musa plays Ami. Both of those assists are really good for not uh, not just uh, uh, advancing behind, but once you get your opponent sort of locked into the corner, Ami is great at locking your opponent down. Uh, give Musa like two or three mix-ups, and believe me, those two or three mix-ups go a long way when you're playing uh, Magneto. That's very true. We'll set to see how it shakes out. I mean, first hit may may do a lot in this game. Yeah, absolutely. I also wonder if Sandalite is going to take the same approach of snapping into Ami, try and get rid of that slow super and those really strong team super Oki situations. Yeah, those team, those team super situations are sort of what, like, what Musa lives for for this team. So I, I agree that maybe wanting to get rid of those are going to be a, a good priority for Sandalite here. That's going to be a dead Magneto. There's so much damage on him. All right. Hard time back in the Taskmaster there. Blocks the cross up. Good blocking there for Musa. Doesn't want to challenge the situation. Oh, that was so scary. Oh, almost connects with that box dash M. I like the falling jump agent. Yo, actually uses the, the rocks. Oh. I don't That's know. a dead doom now. Right? Uh, uh, no, no, not just yet. Oh, calls him Finds trying to throw some too. more arrows. Now, I don't think this is going to kill. Now but it a is. a nice TAC, yeah. Can Musa get the infinite? Can Musa can, uh, complete the infinite? Ah, ah, ah. Just a match. Oh, oh no. no. Goes for the launch, but it's not enough hit stun. He's going to X? No, he's going to spin the, the HC. Doom is back in the fight. I think Luz is going to try to super jump out of it. He does. Oh, does not get does the punish, it punish. It is mad hard to punish that. Yeah. 
for sure. Get some nice damage on the Virgil uh, assist there. He was so ready for that assist call. Time to go back. Or was it an assist oh, call? Oh, no, the air throw. Oh, uh, foot dives into the beam there. Oh, that counter! Okay, saw the light. <laughs> oh. Dead dog here. Sonic Light takes the first game. All that right. counter was so fast. Yeah, yeah. Moose is smiling about it, too. <laughs> yeah. He knows. That was nice. That was nice. Sonic Light was cheesing immediately when I looked over at me to that counter. <laughs> All right, Musa's not really going to try to let Sunlight get any Just more space throw. here. Ah, but runs into that back throw. Like I said, both Shield Skill and Spidey Swing have such good option select uh, potential. So it's so dangerous to aggress Taskmaster, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can just end up getting yourself thrown. And those assists are going to lead to some monstrous damage uh, off that throw. Back to the neutral situation here. Both assists are up, but again, nobody wants to commit. Because as soon as you get one out, you might get sniped. Thought he found some pressure there, but. A good beam there, clears the screen for him. And a good block. That would have done some damage. The chip from Taskmaster is so heavy. I think he sniffed the assist call there. Oh, and catches both finds of them. Both. No! The X Factor doesn't give him the super jump. The throw going all the way through the Yami assist. Okay. That Sentinel is bleeding, though. Like, we may still get some good value out of it. Obviously, losing our X Factor for not killing oh, character sucks. Good box jump M on that lockdown from Ame. Sunlight just wasn't ready for it. Doesn't he Are you going to get some good bar? damage off the of Sentinel here? Yeah. All that red life? He just makes it over the head. Of course, the uh, the looming threat in the background still is Virgil. There, there he is. Yep, <laughs> he's no longer in the bat. Oh, he tried to go for follow my lead, and he is so lucky Ami didn't get swept up there. Ooh, just the chip. This About to have a bad a, time. Yeah, this is not a good Drops situation. Drops though, left a chance. Put the Gucci belt oh, back. Oh, I thought he was going to throw up the slow. If he gets the space, no block. Gee, damn, it is hard to get the space against this team anyway. Oh, man. Fortune wasn't sure about the block there, and that Sentinel assist does work. Sunlight's going 2-0 right now. All of that stemming from the drop on the happy birthday. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Good redirect there from Musa. Good mag blast spacing. Just trying to stay out a little bit. Try and find that one tag from assist. Oh, presses the button, and unfortunately, the signals is coming to clap that back up. Uh, maybe phrasing. <laughs> oh, drops the combo to Sondalite. Oh, but the pressure is so good there. Too hard to block, man. Yeah. Oh, gets the unblockable on Doom. That's that's a dead that's a dead victor. Dead Doom. Now we're, you know, it's X Factor three Amy, but you have a hard block coming up. Oh, it this doesn't block. Oh no! Oh, I got the combo there. Oh, super jump. Oh, but he has to worry about the swords now. Oh, oh. sets the crown. That's crazy, bro. People using the crown. That's twenty twenty four. Oh, this sucks, man. Got to sit there and block. He wanted he wanted the, the advantage. He wanted to be able to use his F-Factor so hard, but Sentinel is just yeah. creep, slowly creeping up back there. He just he, he was paralyzed. That's Sunlight the day takes it. Very Musa. clean for Yo too. Yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, now we're going to have Frankie G versus Drutorius coming up. Yeah. George's last bash. George's last hope. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, now, I don't know... I don't know how many times Frankie and uh, Drew Torres have clashed, but Drew Torres playing zero may have a good advantage against uh, against Magneto here, and especially since he's playing Doom Missiles, right? Yeah. So if he can get a, a good lockdown and just sort of play with Magneto's reactions, it, it could be all over, right? I was going to say, get into like the H teleport as well. Above yeah. Magneto, a whole lot safer than under him yeah. or directly in front of him. So we may just see like random pizza cutter into a dead Magneto. Yeah, absolutely. 
But, again, Frankie with that, that random factor, you cannot count him out, right? Very true. Uh, he's, he's, a, uh, he's a good player, right? Yeah. Even when he's not playing random, he has good reactions. He has good knowledge. He knows where he wants to place buttons. He has good spacing. So uh, he's probably just going to fall back on his knowledge of playing against uh, players like Joey D. Uh, I'm trying to remember the other Midwest uh, Zero players. Uh, there's one in Corn. Can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but all it's going to take is uh, Frankie to fall back on that knowledge, and he may be able to just uh, close out the game before Drew Torres can really aggress him for anything. I say, if there is a matchup that you need burned into the back of your brain, it's it's how to deal with Zero. Yeah, it better be. Absolutely. This character is everywhere. There's probably nowhere you're going to go where you're not going to deal with a Zero, right? I'm honestly surprised that we only have the one zero in top eight unfortunately yeah well maybe not unfortunately right i don't know I how don't many know. other how <laughs> many how many of the rest of the viewers wanted to see more zeros <laughs> i don't know i'll never get sick of the character personally but i i totally get it i just know there are a couple more zeros in pool that uh i would have liked to have seen go further gotcha Yo, all right, I'm looking over at Grand Blue. Why is Lil Wayne performing? <laughs> Why is Matera on the screen over there? What in the world? Man, Lil Wayne is a crazy character. Yeah, I've heard that he's insane right now. Just, just hidden information at the moment. All right, looks like the buttons are set. Ready to get into this one. Frankie picking the team. He's picking the team. Uh, doesn't get his, uh, doesn't get the Virgil color he wants, so he goes to the red. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see how how much like character select mixed up factors into the game, right? Yeah, that was a nice Tiger knee uh, disruptor there, trying to maybe uh, catch zero if he wanted to just uh, jump Buster or jump with the button immediately. See, Ooh. I uh, see Drew starting there with the fireball and the uh, the suck in move. Maybe thinks that he needs to get a far range hit first. Because while he does have that really strong mobility, just getting in despite everything else might be a little too difficult. Well, the, the Sogimu was actually a pretty standard call, right? Uh, with Zero and Sogimu, all it really takes is like a errant buster, and you can pretty much uh, you can pretty much confirm from anywhere like close as uh, close as mid screen. Gets thrown out. Oh, nice conversion there. Oh, that is Zero bleeding, not Magneto. Yeah, I, yeah. I was so confused as to why it did no damage. <laughs> uh, gets the snap. Good the block snap, there from yeah. Frankie. Oh, Virgil is in trouble. It went the it wrong way. It gets the grab. <laughs> Brings Magneto back. Doesn't care about the red life. He just wants Virgil to live. Ooh, good S there. Knocks Dr. Doom into the beam. Good snap. Bringing Mag back, pretty safe call anyway. Frankie's kind of cooking. Uh, creates so much space right there with those plinks. I don't think he wanted that disruptor, but he wasn't punished for it, so why not? Go off. You see the DHD. Yeah, that was a that was a nice uh, nice spear flame. I was a little worried that he might get grabbed, but uh, Drew Torres was maybe not not uh, completely confident about it there. Yeah, maybe not sure he was close enough. Oh, there were so many buttons right there. <laughs> <laughs> but Frankie so lands and gets the back grab. Going to throw uh, Virgil into that corner. That could be a dead Virgil, right? There, I, I'd be surprised. Okay, yeah, there just going to spend it. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. This way you get the Oki set up Absolutely. with the other Virgil, yeah. Actually just chooses the hard tag instead. All right. A good back dash there from Frankie so he doesn't uh, run into the super. Now, he's going to force Drew Torres to kill this Magneto. Oh, oh! Finds the punish in the there. The air dash down S. Such a good punish there. Hard tags into Doom. All right, Frankie. You, you don't often see people get in between that Doom super to get the punish. No. But when you do, it's just like, you just got it, man. Yeah, absolutely. Proceed the handshake face. <laughs> All right, Drew Torres tried to, try to get some offensive uh, pretty early into the game. Doesn't really lead him anywhere just yet. So again, move again. Actually snipes oh, the fly with the three buster. There. Not going to spend any more bar for the kill. 
Okay, doesn't have to waste meter there. Set up. He had so much damage that he could have uh, gone with if that didn't kill this then too. So I think it was. Oh uh, my gosh. I think it was pretty written that Magneto wasn't going to require meter to kill. Oh, good. Good level three there. Don't really want to waste any more effort. Don't want to give him the chance to pop out with that zero because if you leave Pixel Zero alive, you know what happens. Uh, zero at Pixie anyway. Just use that three to secure the kill. That was so that was so dangerous oh from Frankie because what if Drew just up. just s his face? But Drew did not s his face. In fact, he is getting his face s right now. Uh, are we are we snapping here? Or are we just gonna kill Doom? Looks like we're gonna kill for the Doom. We're running to DHC. Swords. All right, this is dead Doom. Frankie doesn't have meter, but he has uh, he does have two assists. Oh. Notorious burns the X Factor. Can he block? No, no, he does not. That was a good link there from Notorious. It almost looked like I'll it was going to drop, too. Just keep it simple, the, the Virgil Air Dash. Try and use this X Factor. Get out. His X Factor Ooh. will outlast Virgil's, of course. But you still have to deal with Virgil. Yeah, this neutral isn't this neutral is not simple, right? There's so much that both players have to look out for. Uh, Frankie wants to wants to uh, aggress there with Doom with the X Factor, but he has to worry worry about uh, Virgil projectiles, but not if he's fast enough. Not this time, yeah. All right, Frankie. All right, Frankie taking it 2-0 right now. Jutorius trying to center himself. There's a calming breath he's taking right now. Oh yeah. I don't think Drew Torres is very happy with his gameplay so far. He made it into winners and this sort of just uh, fell apart. Tag the assist, but just going back to the Sogin move, like you said, get any one touch and it's uh, all but a kill. Yeah. Oh, the lightning almost gave him both characters there. A little bit of a weird pickup with the missiles, but Drew Torres is all over it. All right. There's a kill on that, you know, there. Cross. Good cross up. Lightning. We're gonna. I think we're gonna go for the snap on Doom. Or are we just gonna kill him? No, we're just gonna I kill him. Killing him. Back to the classic lightning loops. These days, it feels like everybody's dead before you have to do the full loops. Does another so Gimu. It's gonna be so much more mix up to deal with. Oh, good block right I there. I think the X Factor ate the. Oh, the he didn't go low. for the, the unblockable. Oh, oh my no. God. Frankie! Frankie! That's two dead characters. Yo. All right, Drew Torres still has Virgil with X Factor. Unless he does not block. Okay, all right, he has another chance. The wait, dark wait, wait, no what? way! What the hell happened? I. What was he pressing? I don't know. I, I don't know. Dark Angel's mad tight. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frankie G takes it. All right. That's uh. Yeah, Frankie G to lose the semis. All right. Fight Sondalite. Yeah, so we're gonna have Frankie G versus on like that. Is, whoa, wow. Um. That happened. I don't know. There, there's some kind of explanation going on over there. Maybe we were missing something. But uh, good reason. pop off I from the crowd. I think that's what we're missing. We're missing reason. Yeah, reason. That's fair. That's fair. Man. Not the way you want to go out, of course. No, not at all. Uh, uh, good, good show from Drew, though. Does Frankie overall. know he needs to sit back down? Because he's, he's backed up. It doesn't seem like it. Frankie! They'll, they'll get it figured out. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Say, I mean, I would need to stand up for a sec too, if, if like a hail mary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just wants to strut around with his chest out. Lord. Uh, now, unfortunately, that means uh, Georgia is out of the running here at max mode. But it's all right. Still get to see some awesome Marvel. Yeah, absolutely, and some good teams too, right? A good, oh, yeah. a good spread of teams. We're gonna have a a, a Morgi, a Mor a Morgi. Amori Doom, we're going to have a uh, Taskmaster, we're going to have a Magneto. I think I'm missing a player, right? 
Um, Do we just have these three players left? Wedge. 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 Still. Wedge. Yeah. Yep, we still have Wedge. Yeah, Wedgers, Chris G, winners, so finals. Uh, still on the way. Pull up some other ancient lore. Chris G is actually wearing his headphones right now. That's crazy, bro. He's, a, he's on Grand Blue. Oh, okay, okay. He's actually wearing them. They're not just around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be able to hear everything. Provided they're actually plugged up into the setup and not his, uh, his phone or something. It's just one of those stupid old lore pieces that mm -hmm. me and my friends always remember. Well, I can't think of, like, headphones without thinking of head crones. Mm -hmm. It's still a bop after all this time. Uh, the music? Yeah. Uh, the music in this game is timeless. It's so good. I know you were talking about how, like, you don't particularly care for, like, the stage themes. Yeah. Or maybe Bond, uh, Bond Wonderland stage themes. But the character themes are so immaculate, with the exception of Iron Man, but that's neither here nor there. All right, bumping chest there. That, yeah, that man. in my opinion, was actually dangerous for Frankie. But uh, Sunlight gets the hit here. Does he get the conversion? Oh, just Drops barely it, does not. No, he swings. Surely. Frank, Frankie was sure that was that was done. Yo, how often do you actually get to punish that parry, though? Or maybe he wanted to grab it? I don't know. I, I have to assume so, right? Now it makes me wonder if you can actually grab that or if that just, like, sort of leaves you grabbing. What a throw well. tech. Oh, good throw tech into the movement. We're going to get a hit on Taskmaster. Will that get a kill on Taskmaster? I think so, right? Yeah, he's going to spend it, no doubt. I said no doubt. <laughs> I said no doubt he's going to die. <laughs> he's definitely going to die. <laughs> All right, Taskmaster is down. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, you know what? I've seen that drop so many times as a Virgil player. Yeah. Oh, good block. I think if he had caught that uh, that rocket punch, that would have just been a dead Virgil immediately. Oh, doesn't block the cross up there. That box dash was so fast. All right. So low, too. Block this. I like the dash up. He just narrowly missed the, uh, the round trip there. Woo. Oh, that was so dangerous. He could have died. I was going to say. But, but the, the X Factor, that S recovered mad fast. Going to hang out there at the top of the screen. Oh. Good pick up. Oh. Not able to convert, though. So many buttons, and Frank, unfortunately, Frank. Oh, gets grabbed. Every moment your X Factor runs out, it's rough. Sunlight didn't have a kill here, so he just backed off. Doesn't want to use the meter either. Very smart, in my opinion. All right, now he just boosts up the swords. So Frank's going to have a hard time sort of aggressing on him. Ooh, there it is. Good hit. And Man. again, doesn't get the meter. Just finds the 2L mash. No way. He's going to come. Yeah, this is a kill with one bar. Absolutely. Uh, okay. That I don't know why I, he did I, that one. but I whatever. always forget to see the hidden missiles, OTG. <laughs> Who does oh, that anymore? Just a no crouching like casually. Way, bro. At Sentinel's landing. Okay. That's the overthinking special. There we go, level three. How about that? Well, that was a uh, bad situation turn right. Absolutely. Frankie G takes the first round there. This Dr. Doom character is still very capable. So, uh, remember earlier when I said I think it was bad the for him? The, the bump chest, yep, uh, yep. Uh, bump chest there. Sunlight showing us exactly why. That's two. Oh, okay. Ooh, that almost did not kill Magneto. Which would have said something. Magneto has, like, very little. Ooh, okay, nice snap. But you know the joke. And brings in the Virgil just to get a hit immediately. All right. Ratio four Virgil. <laughs> oh, that launch barely did not hit. Ah, uh, plus an X factor. Fast enough button that he interrupts the uh, the crouching M before it comes out. Ooh. Oh, finds the throw, though. This is going to kill not that much X factor time, actually. Oh, bruh. Oh, my God. He gave it that away. That was almost a sick confirm. Yo, we're going to do a full Honest to God sword loop? Yes. Yes, absolutely. There's no way he drops the sword loop. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. End it early. Keep it simple. We're not playing with that. 
that was uh, too low that, right now. That sure was a Marvel game. Yeah, absolutely. That sure was. The chest bump again. Nah, Sondalite was trying to goad him into it. I mean, he only gets like he only gets a plus there. <laughs> I can definitely understand why. Oh, if he can kill this Matt Needle, this may be a great way to swing the match into his favor. But Frankie gets the hard attack combo. Uh, this may be a dead Taskmaster. I think he'll spend it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, we're just burning to level three. Mm. We're not going to try any of the rest of that. I like it. I said say turning it. combos only. He still chooses to tag. Ooh. Pick up. Going into the air of that air H. I would say big starter. Uh, oh, drops the drop combo though. there. A good escape there for uh, for Sondalite. Tell him. Just gets the throw out. Yo, this guy's. This guy's a guilty gear player. <laughs> Yo, Frankie, you got it like that? I guess he does. I mean, Frankie said, I'm nice with it. I'm nice with it. Level three. Kill the Virgil. Yes. Now, this is uphill, right? Uh, Sentinel I really mean, is going to have to worry about the corner mix up, but if he gets a hard drive, that gets. Okay. Oh, good. Good scoop. command grab. I like the drones to uh, sort of put pressure on Frankie right there. Yeah, I think the rough part here, well, <laughs> a little bit of extra style. I like it. I, like I mean, it. like, Magneto and Doom are not compelled to run at Sentinel there. Agreed. So Agreed. That, that was a very uphill battle. You're right. But I think Sunlight uh, knows that Frankie is uh, notoriously paralyzed by drones, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if that had been, like, a Virgil. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but that was a that was a great game from Frankie. Uh, just sort of running through the bracket right now. Guy's kind of nice. Yeah, just just a little bit, and he's going up against Wedge. Now this is his hurdle into Grand Finals. If he can beat this match, he will go to face Chris G, which is another trial in and of itself. But that means Frankie's uh, he's made it to the money, right? He's top three right now. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Thank you. My opposite right. Yep. <laughs> I, I understand getting crossed up. You know, it, it is more. <laughs> you just got mentally attacked there. I'm backwards all over the place today. Well, while they're doing button checks, what else are you playing today? Uh, Really? I'm just playing Hangout right now, bro. Playing the Hangout game? I, I want to play some Magic with you and uh, True, Corey. Yeah. yeah. We'll get there tonight. That'll be better, man. After we're done with commentary at 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, though. We're having a good time. I may play some more casuals than uh, Tekken and Marvel. I should probably play some Tekken before I leave here this weekend. Uh, were you able to find a converter for your stick? Yeah, yeah. I was able to borrow one from one of our locals. I bet. shout out to Chang. Big Boss Kraken over here. Senior Kraken. shout outs to him. Put a great show on. Oh, we're getting to see the medals. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll show them after the match. Yeah. All right. All right, getting into this one. Loser's finals here at max mode for Marvel is a Magdoom Virgil versus a Deadpool Dante Strider, and I'm excited to see how this match goes. Now, Magneto versus Deadpool is actually pretty bad for Magneto, right? Deadpool has so much durability on those guns. Oh, he yeah. just uh, spaces Magneto out. Magneto has to put so much effort into going in. And running into the projectile, the Deadpool sort of setting up. But the if trap. he gets it, oh, Frankie was there. Frankie was there. I imagine there was some sweat coming down uh, Wedge's brow there. Good escape. That is actually from funny. Wedge, like though. Magneto has to be more concerned about the shots because he uh, he has to try dash. He can't yeah. do the wave dash. <laughs> good kill on the Deadpool there from Frankie. Oh, good block. Oh, gets the grab when Dante jumps. This may be a pretty, okay, well, hold on. Level three, yep, there we go. Doing the, the old school Magneto combos, dude. Just take you from one corner to the other. Waste a meter here, kill the character. Now Strider, Strider has like very little help, right? If you can get a hit, ooh. Yeah, the big thing too with three characters, okay. with two characters. 
Oh, that was such a good mix-up from Wedge. He doesn't get the confirmation, unfortunately. Oh, but he does get the mashing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this kill is going to let him set up the Orvorus. All right. Forces, uh, no. forces Virgil to block. But good block from Frankie. Oh! Eventually gets Can't open block up, forever. Oh! Drop. The combo drops. Oh, that's hit. That's hit. That's it. hit. It's not. Not like this. Oh, and a reset into the Rapid Slash Swords. Breaks the damage uh, the damage loss there. That's rough. Damn, that's rough. All right, Frankie takes the first game there. Frankie is on a tear right now. Yeah, coming off the momentum from that last set. Yeah, I agree. It's got to be great. Oh, good light. Stops the Deadpool in his tracks. Uh, do you think he snaps here, or do you think he just goes for the kill? No, I think we're I just killing. The way that, that last game went, I think he's chilling. Oh, or drops, drops combo. Good. But Doom is here. That was such a good confirm there from Wedge. Oh, does it? Just chilling. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. And Frankie woke up with a counter. Another thing you don't normally see very many, uh, very many Magnetos do. Oh, good blocks there. Unfortunately, gets clapped again. That one is uh, going jump. pretty fast for Witch. Oh, nice teleport into the grab there. Oh, Snaps I think he wanted to get that kill, but. Kill. Nice. No. He for sure did not want it to happen like that. And Frankie goes all the way through uh, back to Magneto. Set up the Orbors. Oh, but Virgil's actually coming right back in. Yeah, I mean, no this more game is in, in such a bad spot. You know, we do the deal with X full X Factor 3 Doom. Oh, oh, oh. A uh, good block there from Wedge. Oh! And low. <laughs> and Frankie X Factor immediately with crouch there, there, there was a big, big head shake there from Wedge. He's not happy about no, that one. Not at all. I think he was, he was cussing at the console there for a sec. <laughs> Well, all right, so Wedge has to buckle down here. He's actually been doing a lot of work and just sort of just sort of doesn't bring it all the way through. But this is this a great is start a for him this dead time. Dead Magneto. Yeah, this is a dead. Absolutely a dead Magneto. For one bar, too, I think. Oh, going to snap it out. Committed to killing this Virgil. Nice. Okay. Good mix up there. I think Wedge has snapped so many times. It, like, you see Virgil, and there's a, a kill kill target pops up. Oh, I don't know if this kills. It does? It does. It does. It does. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. I was so worried. All right, and Wedge already in a better position than he's been in both the last two games. Agreed. Yo, well, was good that a block fuzzy? there. Yeah, good block from Frankie, too. Unfortunately, uh, damn, unfortunately he's tried to sort of lock them back into that corner. And he didn't succeed in that mix-up uh, against Wedge that time. Oh, Wedge is catching him now. Going to be a dead Magneto. And now Doom is definitely going to suffer in this matchup by himself. A good kill on the Magneto. Just barely not uh, right before that last hit, too. Yeah, it really depends if Frankie... Just incidentally give some space. But yeah, this you, you're seeing the gunshots just yeah. going through like the photons. Like I said, uh, Deadpool, Deadpool neutralizes Doom. And Wedge is just playing it super safe. He doesn't have to run forward, doesn't really have to aggress. He goes for the uh, goes for the fuzzy just sort of to mix things back up on Frankie. Frankie has to block there. No punish that time. Last chance for Frankie. Uh, those gunshots coming yeah. from off screen. And Wedge putting himself back on the board and into this game. Now, uh, Wedge may be able to carry this momentum with him into another couple wins here. Good blocks. Nice dead pull assist. I'm sorry. Nice Dante assist. <laughs> the defensive well, calls from Wedge are really good. Starter. I think this is a guaranteed snap, yeah. Oh, that was really tricky. Frankie blocked everything except for the normals. See a long nice Dante teleport. combo. Uh, We're going to build a lot of bar a second here. meter, too. Get to start the next character with two and a half, or uh, with a half rather. The blocks, good. Yeah, just missed. Oh, like it. 
And Doom was like, you know, I think I'm just going to actually land farther back over there. <laughs> nice quick work into the snap. Going to try to kill the Magneto. Oh, good dash under there. Well, I, I think we see where uh, Wedge's priorities lie. Virgil 1, Magneto 2, Doom 3. Yeah. And I think it's like you said, even with that level 3, uh, Deadpool just does such a good job against Doom. Zo yeah, zoning Doom out. I'm surprised he decided to step up in his face there. And Frankie's going to X-Factor and make him pay for it. He doesn't get the kill on Deadpool, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> and tried to snap to break that super. Oh, now we're in danger. Fox jump M. Frankie is in rare form right now, bruh. He's not letting any of this momentum go to waste. Oh, great the grab throw. on the X Factor. Game five. Oh, no. no. Oh. Ha. Oh. <laughs> Stop right. stressing me out. Big yeah, dog. yeah. It's 2-2 two, two in loser final Finish here. Finish your plate. Wedge or Frankie could be going up against Chris G here. Yeah, once Wedge kind of figured out what he was trying to do, we got there. There's the yeah, Vajra snap. Or are we just killing this time? No? He's Ooh. committed to the plan. Assist start, but he does the X Factor. I think he's going to be able to kill here. But he has plenty of damage, especially in the X Factor. I was still a little worried. Now we just have to hope, you know, he keeps the momentum up, make sure that X-Factor was worth it. Yeah. And, of course, we're back to mixing up that Doom. Uh, his dead, his uh, Strider calls are so There's good the fuzzy. there. And that fuzzy lands. I would say, Frankie, you, you can only block so many fuzzies. Oh, good crouching H there from Frankie. We have a chance. Got to back up, go for the kill. The apparent problem is gone now. Oh, no. Oh. I thought he, like, immediately went for the box dash. Yo, hitting the Doom for a lot there. This is, this is like, so nerve-wracking. <laughs> this is going to be a rough time for Frankie, but. It is going to be a rough time for Frankie. Oh. And that S, oh, he tried to fly, but just went a little too low. He's not dead yet. That's a good super to wipe those missiles off the screen. Oh, There's he the tried throw to get the grab. Into the rain. Yeah, acid range. Still not doesn't dead. Doesn't get a kill. What? And it doesn't block on the backstash, uh, box dash H. Oh, my God. And that, that means Wedge is going to uh, put himself into grand finals here. Yeah, Wedge with the, uh, the winner's finals run back. But Frankie, Frankie had a monumental run there. He almost looked like it was just it was just his, his tournament there. Yeah. Did a lot of work though. Uh, Chris. Oh, that means we get to we get to show these off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so these are going to be the maximum medals for uh, our finalists here. This doesn't include first place, I don't think, right? Does it? Uh, yeah, I have, I have first right <laughs> here. I have third right here. I reckon you're second. That's second, absolutely. Heck yeah, guys. Great pretty medals. I would love to have one myself. Yeah, but beautiful enamel clothing. None of the main games here for me today. Uh, uh, we're waiting G. for Chris G to uh, yeah, still in finish, Grand Blue right now. I finished schooling uh, fools <laughs> in Grand Blue. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Grands. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, Grand Finals for UMBC three here at Max Mode. Is your boy? TPO Charlemagne waiting for uh, the tank to come back, but I'll go ahead and start things off with this grand final set. I, well, I won't be alone. We we'll made it just in time. Oh, I thought we had another minute for for medals and stuff for Grand Blue. Sorry, sorry. All good. Looks like we're getting but, uh, buttons underway here. Chris, you got to get back in the Marvel mindset, too, I'm sure. I Although, mean, the way that he was playing Grand Blue right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I don't know how much of the Marvel mindset he didn't have to use there, bro. True, true. That was. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Luane was a character. But 
Morgan's a character as well. So. Now, I was say, yeah, he was employing the Virgil mindset in those low end games. Yeah. Now, uh, Deadpool has a climb, but again, this matchup is not impossible. Wedge put in a lot of work uh, during their first meeting here, so I think it is wholly possible for Wedge to, to bring this back here. Good block from Chris G on that quick work. And unfortunately, the uh, Strider also got hit. Found the hit there. Good, good damage on that dude. But the hidden missiles ruining the party. That's crazy. It takes all but the last shot to kill one of the fireballs. Yeah. The, the grenade Locked seemed to take one out, though. So yeah. maybe he can make use of that. Just have to get the space to throw it and get rewarded for it without the hidden missiles. Yeah, agreed. Oh, jumping back lands him on so many of those fireballs. Press the button at the exact wrong time, and that is a dead Deadpool dead there. Deadpool. Tags in the Virgil, actually. Give Morgan a rest, build oh. up some bar. Yo, mashing? The snap? Back to the Morgan. Yeah. Tried to snap to avoid the missiles, unfortunately, was still blocking as Morgan came in. So, uh, you know, she just put the nails back to him. Yeah, ultimately, one of the worst outcomes. All right, good escape there. Oh, Dante took so much damage right there. Wedge this is trying to, a rough one. Yeah, Wedge trying to wait out these fireballs as best he can. There's no more, uh, there's no more sister, sister, but she does have a meter. All right, we're gonna get pressure. Yo, oh, that was. That when was, crazy. was the last time somebody used that? Actually, good got pretty good damage on Doom off of it. All right, nice spacing here from Wedge. Ran into the uh, the last couple finger lasers there. Yo, the Graham. Oh. All right, this is gonna be a kill. All right, good job. Uh, neutralizing those missiles there is big. Oh, almost got S there. Oh, good teleport. An X factor from Chris G leaves him uh, leaves him not negative. Getting chipped out though. X factor oh. three Strider oh, has to do a lot of work. Yo, no, you got combo. You got the block. He did not block. There's the bar back. Yeah, it's going to be a dead strider. Oh. oh, man. Wedge could have brought that back right there. I was going to say, he, he <laughs> hit Chris with a cross-up on his own Oki. Yeah. <laughs> Got to finish your plate, though. There's a couple of unfortunate drops at the end of there. Missile's still coming? No. Oh, it whiffs. Oh, Strider saved the Deadpool there. Is this Chris so interesting? thinking that uh, Virgil might be a better option to uh, to fight this Deadpool with. It's I'm really interested weird. to see how this goes. I really didn't feel like his Morgan was doing poorly against the Deadpool. Maybe it was just taking longer than he wanted. Oh, no. But he may come to regret this. Yeah, yeah this, this may actually just be a dead Virgil, Virgil here. Yeah, that's dead. Well, the Mora Doom package itself can still put in a lot of work, but Doom yeah, but unfortunately it's there. the wrong order, right? Yeah. He has to bring Morgan back out. Good blocking there from Chris. He's going to, oh, such good gun placement there from Wedge. And he's going to snap the snap Morgan in. in. Snap in without any, like, crazy Oki. Yeah. Wants to burn the X Factor. Oh, misses Drops. the S coming down. That is surely not what he wanted. This is rough. Now we're out the X Factor as well. Not only and no meter, it's going to be hard yeah. to, to punish that uh, that doom assist. Good blocks though. Yeah, Haven't great blocks. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a curse there, unfortunately. But now Morgan's still just like about half life there, so yeah, it's certainly not impossible. But yeah, if Wedge can get a good hit, oh. Ugh. Box dashes into getting absolutely surrounded by those sisters there. Oh, that's a level three. That I think that's a dead Dante. Oh, and he has another meter afterwards. Even if he wasn't dead, he just going to uh, Shadow Illusion. What a character, man. Yeah, fair and balanced too. Okay, I, I like I like where we're at. 
we might go somewhere with it. Oh, that was good. That was good. Can he get the damage? Oh. It's a bad time again. Yep, bad oh, time again. Crossed. After oh, the blocks. Good confirm from Chris G, and that's going to be a dead strider. Oh, oh okay. I thought he yeah. waited just a little too late <laughs> for that super. It did seem a little slow, didn't it? Yeah. Well, that is a 2-0 wedge. Yeah, take a, take take a little mental reset for like, here. Just for like, yeah, just for a normal, uh, just for a little bit of a break. I was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. You know, as much as you want the break, you're also, like, hyped to keep playing. So I get it. <laughs> and unfortunately, Chris G may have, uh, may have erased a lot of momentum from wedge there. Oh, my gosh, man. Every time that he might be getting a hit, Those Doom is just saving just the day. Perfect place, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so unfortunate to see. Oh, that was just the door. Yo, yeah, oh. word? I am still surprised at the choice to bring out Virgil, but here we are again. A good block there from Wedge. I like the super jump. Bleeding his bar. That's funny. Oh, that was a good confirm there. I hadn't even realized he was using the Morgan assist to get the bar. Yeah. I don't know that he wanted that. Yeah, prop didn't seem right. Yo, two guard cancels, one set. Damn. Ooh. Deadpool shoes get checked there. And this, this may be it for uh, maybe it for Wedge's Deadpool. But ah, uh, land has and throw. No oh. way that that's still picked up, dude. Snaps for the Strider. Yeah, good the blocks there. Oof. Get some space. He wants the dead. Oh no! Gets Swung the crouching eighth there. It was supposed to be a, a push block. It had to be. It's looking tough. Can X Factor Dante, three. Dante is alive here. You know, still has the problem of long combos. You may not be able to kill somebody before you're out of X Factor. And Chris G's going to try to waste as much of that X Factor time as he possibly can. It makes perfect sense too. You don't want to have to deal with it. Oh, oh, that was tricky. Hey. That was tricky. There's one. We're not going to have right. time to kill another and steal an X Factor. Oh, oh, good the break throw. there from Chris. Try to call that Dr. Doom doing something full screen with that uh, grapple. You know, the oh! Oh, happy birthday? You can't level three. No, he can't, but he can get a lot of damage here. Wait. Oh, he wanted Morgan to die so he could have gone into level three. I know it. God, this is scary, man. But Wedge could be back in here. All he has to do is keep uh, keep Doom out. And it's not impossible. Chip is also a factor. Dante. Oh, he, oh, he only gets oh, three. Oh, no! Now. Chris G just barely got beneath him. Oh, no. And Chris G takes it 3-0 in grand finals. Yeah, I, I agree, Wedge. I get it. The face of disappointment there for Wedge. He was he was right there to putting himself back in that game. He wanted it so hard. Man. Oh, my goodness. That was – it was crushing there. And Chris G takes yet another game here today. Tragic. But uh, Wedge is going into KOF, so hopefully he won't let this uh, won't let what happened here impact that gameplay. He That's has good. more chances to continue playing today. Um, I don't know how many more games Chris G is in. I suspect he's going to be in. <laughs> like you uh, said, he's, he's probably in a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I suspect was he, he's going to be Street Fighter. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He entered every Street Fighter, so I suspect we'll see him uh, up in top eight. So we're going to go ahead and pass out the medals now. All right. Awesome. All right. Take us out. Uh, well, thank you, everyone, for joining us for Top 8 here uh, at Max Mode for UMBC3. It was a great time spending it with you. Again, I am TPO Charlemagne. This is your boy, The Tank, Will, and you all have a great night. See you all.